So one of the most iconic looks in movies is the teal and orange. It can be seen in Hollywood, Bollywood and almost everywhere else, even on YouTube. But how exactly do you achieve that look, which is also going on in this particular face cam? But in this case, I have a warm light and an RGB light set to teal in the background. So this is not color grading much. But if we have a normal footage from our phone or from a normal camera, it is not even a log footage. How do we get the teal and orange color grade and we achieve that cinematic look with just one note? And that is the pristine technique that I found a few days back. In this video, we're going to cover three different ways to get the teal and orange look, a very noobish way, a better way, a very more legit way and a way that can replicate this look. So let's start off with this footage I found on Pexels. It is a stock footage not taken by me. But yeah, the first type of color grade of teal and orange is something where we push more orange in the highlights and push more teal into the shadows. This is something that is not very authentic to be honest. Let me show you why do I say that. Uh, so we come into here. This is our gain wheel. We push some orange into it and we come to the lift wheel and we push some teal into it because orange and teal are complementary colors they generally look good together so this is our look so far i'll turn off uh, what can i turn what on eclipse and make it bigger so you can see okay this is it so this is before and this is after is this a good teal and orange look arguably but is this a teal and orange look yes but the only problem with this particular look is that our highlights are not always just warm tones our highlights might also have some cool tones it i might be wearing a blue t-shirt right and that might be a highlight so if we add some orders to that highlight that blue t-shirt is completely ruined and the same thing for the other side of the spectrum as well our shadows might not always be uh, like something blue or something really cool in temperature so if that's not the case if we have a warm tone in the uh, shadows like this might this box might be in the shadow this is kind of red if we push some teal into that blindly it might ruin that color like in this case if you see it, it's not that good it's probably it's better than the original but it's not that good perfect okay we understand one way one very amateur way of doing it okay next we have this particular clip now as i said the next way is to do it with the hue versus hue curve which is a much more legitimate way much more controlled way so we are going to turn on all the pointers and let me tell you something about the hue versus hue curve. So it is basically to manage particular one particular range of color and shift it towards something else. Okay. So suppose if you pick any color, so if I move this green upward, it, all the greens, which is pretty non-existent in this shot is going to move towards the left. If I push it downwards, it will move towards the right as simple as that. So we need the move, greens to move towards the right, which is towards steel. So look something like this. And we need to move the blues towards teal so we need to move it upward so it moves left and you see all the blues are turning into very pretty looking teal perfect now we also need to take care of the skin tones which is going to turn into more of orange so orange is situated between red and uh, yellow so we need to move the yellows to the left so we move the yellow upward and we need to move and you see this is changing her skin tone quite a lot from this light yellowish tone to a more orange tone and we can move if there is not much red in this shot but we can move the red a little bit downward to get the perfect tone of orange that we are looking for so this is before and this is after this is a much more authentic way of getting this but as i said before as well uh, when there is a lot of greenery in the shot it is not a good option to opt for a teal and orange because you see look at this grass this grass was green before so if the grass is a warmer green it will turn into orange if the grass is a cooler green it will turn into teal which is very unnatural to look at but again it's a very good look other than the grasses so if it's a photo of a jungle a video taken in a field it is not a very good idea to go for a teal and orange look it is probably you should probably do something else okay perfect so this is our before and this is our after now this is still a little bit of hassle and we still have to tune a little bit of things now let's look at the fastest way to achieve the teal and orange look with just one node we are also obviously working with one node but it is still a little bit complicated 
let's move on to this clip all right perfect so this has a little bit of muted colors which uh, we can probably fix i think there is a lack of contrast i'm just going to fix add a little bit of contrast into this not much and that looks good to me okay now let's come here so the new tool that we're going to be using to get the tiller orange look in the smallest time possible is the color wrapper tool we come over here and we need to understand what are what where are we doing in the hue versus hue curve we are taking the colors which are around teal and making all of them teal which is green and blue we squish them to make them teal we do the same thing with yellow and red we squish them to make them orange so here we're going to take the green and the blue and this is steel right we're going to shift the green towards steel we're going to shift the blue towards steel as well and you see all the greens and the blues have already turned teal in the shot and we are going to take the yellow towards orange we're going to take the magenta or red towards orange as well like here is the orange right here is the orange and here is steel we just squashed the whole color wrapper into the teal and orange axis and that is good i think i'll add a little bit of color boost or the density or whatever you want to add to add a little more color into this because this shot is really undersaturated. but still you can see the difference especially in the basketball the background uh in whatever she is wearing so you can really see the difference in her skin tone in the basketball the background her shorts which were like cyan before but now it's turned into teal and that is how you can get the teal and orange look in like literally seconds so i hope you learned something from this video i hope we all can make better videos learn better colors and tell better stories i'll see you in the next one